songwriter, musician, successful actor, and appearing in, by my count, appearing in more than 89 movies. You may know him better as a composer of songs like Me and Bobby McGee, Help Me Make It Through the Night, and For the Good Times. And by now you know I'm talking about one of the greatest talents to ever come out of Nashville, Chris Christopherson. Chris, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ralph. Nice to have you on the show. Boy, it was, I'm getting a sense of deja vu here. <laughs> First time I was ever on TV was on your show back in Nashville. In uh, 1968, is that about right? Lord, it might have been before that. <laughs> what could have been? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, were you wearing the boots at, that you have on at that time? I may have been. I mean, they, I'm it, told that you've worn these boots forever. I think I think they were because I think I had them when I was working in the Gulf of Mexico on the flying helicopter down there. Yes. On the offshore oil rigs. You know Grandpa Jones. Did you know Grandpa? No. I, well, he had a pair of boots that went back to vaudeville days. And uh, so in keeping with Grandpa's memory, uh, we welcome your boots. Grandpa Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, I thought of something this morning. you feel like singing? I never feel like singing, but I'll sing for you anytime. Well, this morning I got up early and I, I uh, had your new album, Chris. Close to the bone. Closer to the bone. Closer to the bone. Yeah. And I, uh, I was playing it in the car, and I started laughing because I was down to the last cut. <clears throat> anyway, uh, it's not listed on the back. Oh, they didn't want to do that. Uh, what's called, the name of the song? I Hate Your Ugly Face. <laughs> and, Tell and, me about the song. Well, uh, it, was, uh, it was probably the first song I remember making up. And I and I'm sure I, I made it up when I lived in Brownsville, Texas. But uh, uh, I never did record it, and and uh, I think they didn't want to put that title on the, on that on that uh, album there. But uh, well, you my you, family liked it. Well, you introduced it. You said something about I was 11 years old. Oh, you said this is the first whole song I ever wrote. I think it is. I think it is. I think I wrote it while I was raking manure in the <laughs> corral. <sighs> you live on a farm, a ranch? No, we had a couple of horses, though, right uh, adjoining the house. And uh, I, that was my job, was cleaning up the mess they made. You feel like singing that song? Well, I'll try. Okay. Yeah. This is called, again... I, I, I hate, hate your you. ugly face. <laughs> and I give away <laughs> You've heard a lot of singers. It girls? Well, could have been. Could have been. I think, uh, yeah, well, especially my sister. I gave her the hardest time. But uh, but I didn't know anything about drinking beer or or fooling around with girls at the time. I was just using my imagination there. Did you listen to a lot of music on the radio? Uh, down in Brownsville, I listened mostly to country music and Mexican music. And uh, You listened to what they used to call border radio, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, it was... Uh, and uh, I loved uh, the harmony of the Mexican songs down there. But... Uh, well, my wife and I were talking last night uh, about your lineage. We all know that you come from a military family. Yes. Your father was a two-star general in the Air Force. Yes. How about your mother? Well, her what, father what? was a colonel in the, in the Army, and he had his eye put out in the Philippine insurrection by a spear. And he was a great old guy, my grandfather. What was his name? Roy. Well, I wondered if your mother is where you got your music. Well, I don't know where I got it. Neither one of them played. Uh, I think I must have got it from the radio. <laughs> you told me one time you were a big fan of Hank Williams. Oh, yes. He, he was, uh, well, still is, 
my hero. But uh, but uh, that was one of the saddest days of my life when he died and, and died early. But I had every record he ever made. I used to. Somebody stole them. <laughs> Did you did you try to sing those songs where he would go up and hit the falsetto notes? I used to I used to try Lovesick, Lovesick Blues. Yeah, Lovesick Blues when it in Yodel. Yeah. I made people physically ill <laughs> singing that way. I trying to yodel. I, I, I can remember once really a uh, kid leaning out the back of his open convertible and throwing up because <laughs> because because of what I sounded like. So I don't yodel anymore. I don't think I've ever heard you attempt to yodel. Oh, <laughs> and you may never, Ralph. <laughs> I, uh, no, I don't think it's wise. You know. I welcome you guys back on here. If you're new, consider subscribing, liking, and also share this video. So tributes are still coming in, you know, for uh, the legendary Chris Christopherson, you know, the award-winning country music singer and actor uh, after he passed on at the age of 88. One Dolly Parton, another legend within country, came out on social media and said, What a great loss, what a great writer, what a great actor, what a great friend. She finished her post on social media with words that said, I will always love you, and not to one of the most famous songs. Barbara Streisand, another country music legend, uh, said he, uh, he knew he was something special the first time she saw him perform. Christopherson and Chris and if you didn't know they went on to share a top billing in the 1976 remake of the film a star is born according to what i've been reading a representative from uh, the christopherson family said he passed away peacefully at his home in hawaii on saturday surrounded by family a statement described christopherson as a peace a peacenik uh, a revolutionary an actor a superstar a a sex symbol and a family man. A message from his family said they were all so blessed for the time they heard with him. Thank you for loving him all these many years and when you see a rainbow know he's smiling down at all of us. Um, then the tribute um, from Ali Aaron Rhymes uh, he posted a photo of the pair with a message an epic human with the biggest heart. You will be so so much missed. Rest easy my friend. And then so many other people were still coming in. We saw Melissa Etheridge, Reba McIntyre, and so many other people within the country music genre. This is a man who was born in Brownsville, Texas. That was on 22nd June 1936. And he became a leading figure in the country music when, actually, when I was watching one of his interviews, he said some of the songs he heard uh, that got to, you know, to be hits, he never imagined, you know, them becoming hit songs. But of course, they did. So uh, he was a huge writer, a very talented man. And of course, in this moment, Time, all we can say is rest easy, rest in power, the king uh, that is Chris Christopherson. We're sending our deepest condolences and uh, uh, sympathies to the family, friends, and everyone who was really very, very close to you and loved his music.